I have recently told you about otoscope or shade indicator, which was used as a signal strength indicator in radio equipment of the 15th of the last century. Today I'll tell you how to make it. You will need a bulb or a LED for indicator illumination, an electromagnet or a coil of relay, plastic or cardboard package for the device, a piece of steel sheet for the anchor, aluminum definitely won't fit, a spring or rubber band to move the anchor back. First you need to cut out sectors on the anchor for the large beam and drill two holes for the axis. Then we cut out the anchor itself of the sheet metal. Then we punch two holes, one in the center and the other one a little bit closer to the edge. After that we cut out the sector. It must be located on the base. It's better to use a pearl or a lone screw as the base so that your anchor could rotate on the screw axis and respectively return back with the help of a spring or a rubber band. A spring like this one, or as in the original variant, a rubber band. So if you have no signal, the anchor covers up the lamp, or on the contrary, opens the lamp when a signal appears. Thus the lot is either fully open or completely closed. Now, now some words about my electromagnet. In this case it's better to use as an electromagnet a relay coil or take a screw and one 300 and preferably 500 turns of thin wire and connect it to 6 or 12 volt of signal voltage. After that we connect the lights of our device. Thus it's turned on. And then when we apply voltage to the coil a change in screen illumination takes place. Apply, de-energize, apply, de-energize. Voltage changes cause changes in the image on the screen. This is the way our otoscope works.